Contrary to popular myths and cartoons, porcupines cannot shoot their quills. That's no kitty! That's a porcupine! But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be extra careful around these prickly rodents. Just ask animal keeper Del Guglielmo, who's been on the receiving end of a porcupine quill. Many, many times. And usually that happens if I'll go like this and he'll turn his head. They are so adapted to, for that reason that even if I, if I can barely put a little pressure, that quill will poke me. And this is not this animal being aggressive. This is a human error and actually getting poked. This is Clark, a South American prehensile-tailed porcupine born here at the National Zoo nine months ago. And in case you're wondering, no, the delivery wasn't extra painful. While baby porcupines are born with quills, they're soft during birth, hardening about an hour afterwards. Even though right now Clark's calm and happily eating. If he were to get agitated or a predator would antagonize him, they would put a little pressure on these quills, the barbed ends would stick into their nose or hand. In the zoo, Clark and his fellow porcupines eat fruits and veggies, monkey biscuits, and rodent blocks. In the wild, they're vegetarian, eating anything they can find in the treetops. They have been known to come down and um, kind of raid farmers' crops, so they can be kind of a pest species in some areas where there's large farms. Probably why their biggest predators are humans. Birds of prey, jaguars, and other wild cats also hunt them. While their quills are their main defense, their prehensile tail helps keep them out of harm's way. Uh, being an arboreal species, he would use that in the wild to uh, live up in the trees. This acts as kind of a fifth limb. It's a uh, pure muscle. It's a trait that the porcupine shares with New World primates, where both species have adapted for life in the trees. He's going to show you a great example of using that prehensile tail. I learned very quickly um, to, if they start to fall, to not try to catch them. That lesson took once to learn. Justifiably cautious of the porcupines at first, Guglielmo says she's quickly warmed up to them. I found them fascinating creatures to work with. They, they have their own interesting quirks. We're going to have an incident here. <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.